Okay guys, I know it has been a long time since I haven't done a video on this um, homemade generator with the alternator and I think that's a three and a half horsepower motor. Pretty much I just want to update you guys on this build that I was building for years. I don't know how many years. I even started getting rust on that bearing. I might have to replace that bearing soon if it goes bad. But I do got to attach to a battery, which is here. Well, I'm going to attach it in a moment. Basically here what I got is the, the voltage for the battery, a fuse, and the key. To activate the, the alternator so when I attach the battery this is activating since it's activating the alternator Oh, I did have to change the pulley. That's brand new. The pulley is brand new. And the other thing that I have to do is, uh, I have to find out, figure out a way if I can get the acceleration, you know, if I can adjust it on my own because it's spring loaded right now. This motor came off of a uh, mini bike. Right, let's weigh this to see how much it weighs. It's on zero. I'm going to put that on 50. 53 pounds. I tried to turn it on a few months ago so it wouldn't start. So I had to rebuild the carburetor. I changed the diaphragm, the spring, the, the, the control um, fuel. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. This is how the wiring look underneath. Nothing crazy. It it is set up on motor on mounts like rubbery mounts. So if I shake it pretty well, I mean, it's a little shaky, but, and this motor's pretty quiet too, so. All right, let's get to it. Put the choke on, choke. Wondering why it's 
it's accelerating by itself is because the screw here adjusted it too much. I guess from the vibration. So I'm gonna drive it back a little bit. Turn it off. Alright, thanks for watching.